Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Marissa and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're not new here, then hey girl, what's up and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. Y'all know I love to do get ready with me, okay? It's just my thing. But today we are getting ready to go on a sushi picnic date with my man. So yeah, I'm actually filming this look the day after because I was supposed to film it yesterday when I did go on the picnic but y'all know how that goes I had to go and take pictures and do a reel and all that type of stuff so if y'all don't follow me on Instagram you should because your girl's been uploading okay I have been posting on there and they're coming out so good so thank you to my man shout out to him for always taking my pictures he takes the best pictures of me all the time so yeah um, I already did my hair. If y'all want to know how to get this hair, I mean, honestly, it was the most simplest thing ever. It's a slick back bun. I laid my baby hairs down and don't mind my thin hair. My whole family has thin hair. And y'all, my bangs, this is how they look. Um, I don't know why, but this side lays down and this side just pushes up. So that's just how it's always been for me since I was a little girl. And now I'm an adult and this is how it is. So... I just curled my hair with um, a little curling wand and this is how it came out. I actually got the hair inspo from Aaliyah's face here on YouTube, which if y'all don't know who she is, I'll leave her channel linked down below because she did do a hair and makeup tutorial and she showed you how to get this type of hair look. So if y'all want to see how to get that, then I will link it down below if I don't forget. And also, I don't have on my jewelry or anything yet just because I feel like it's a little difficult to do your makeup with jewelry on. And I have three missing nails. So, yeah, um, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera. If my throat sounds a little sick, it's because I am a little sick. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Okay, so eyebrows are on. I'm trying not to get this shirt dirty because even though I already wore it, I don't wanna get it dirty, okay? Eyebrows are done and I already primed my eyes and I set them down with a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury powder. Um, <laughs> I'm dropping everything. Now I'm going to go in with some MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is what I use all the time for my first eyeshadow, I guess you can say. Um, I don't really use eyeshadow as much anymore, but basically just lay it down. Or you know what? No. Actually, yesterday when I did this look, I really, really just love the way it turned out. I used my Fenty bronzer. This is the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzer in, in Island Team. And I love Fenty and their bronzers are freaking awesome. Especially this one just complements my skin tone very well. But let me know how y'all like this lighting and stuff because I did move rooms again. I put my son's room back in my beauty room and I put my beauty room here in the front. So now the whole front of my house whenever you walk in is basically like a little reading nook as soon as you walk into the front door. And you know, you just chill there and read and whatnot. Um, and then my, I guess you can say my beauty room slash office space because I am going to start my classes soon online. So I wanted it to be super quiet in the front of the house. And I moved my living room to the back of the house in the bigger living room area. And I can't really wait till the day that I actually start making money doing this, doing what I love here on YouTube, Instagram, you know what I mean? And buying another couch because y'all, the couch that we have, one second, I'm just gonna put my bangs behind my ears because it's super hard to work with that. Um, the couch that we have is like so small and for all of us to like fit on it is, it's kind of hard. But yeah, I'm just taking this bronzer and basically just messily putting it on because y'all, I don't really focus too much on how my actual eyeshadow looks anymore. I feel like when you want an effortless but very classy minimalistic look you always go for just bronzer but i know that i did go in with my makeup by mario palette <laughs> she's dirty but um i went in with the master metallics palette this is one of my favorite palettes of all time um and i actually went in with 
two different shades. So I'm gonna go in with this shade here and this shade here, which they're like bronzy colors. I'm just gonna mix them. And I feel like when you're going out on a picnic, on a little date or something, I feel like shimmer is just the way to go. And I do pick that up on my finger just because it's easier that way. And I've really been into like very cute, cute outfits too. So that's what I'm gonna show y'all here in a little bit. Really cute outfit. I'm just gonna be packing that on with this brush. I believe this is from e.l.f., but then again, I do not know because it doesn't really have a name on it. Okay, so just to add a little bit of pop, I'm gonna go in with this gold color and literally I use this color like all the time. All the time. I'm surprised that I have not hit pan on it, but if I did, I would literally rebuy the palette just for the gold, okay? So I'm basically doing everything that I did yesterday because yesterday's makeup look came out so, so cute. So I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. Now, mine's really beat up, y'all. Y'all don't have to go in with so many palettes or anything. Um, if y'all have just this palette, it will do. Okay, it will literally do. Um, but I'm gonna go in with, I think I went in with coconut yesterday, so let's do that. And a little trick whenever you're trying to do like eyeshadow wing liner is just to wet your brush. I'm just gonna wet it with some Charlotte Tilbury spray. That's my favorite setting spray. And we're gonna do a little wing liner because I feel like wing liners are just like, you know, they're like the thing when it comes to a look like this. You don't have to do liner or anything at all if you don't want to, if you're not into that, or if your eyes aren't really shaped for that, but I just feel like wing liner just brings it in. It brings in like the classy moment, you know what I mean? All right, so now I'm gonna be taking the same shade and I'm gonna be doing an inner corner flick just because I felt like this really did accentuate my eyes and made them look like really, really nice, you know what I mean? And yesterday I did mine a little wonky, so today I'm gonna try to do it like good, but we'll see. Okay, so on to face. And for face today, I'm gonna be going in with my NARS Natural Radiant Foundation in the shade Tahoe. This is the one that I used yesterday, and to be honest, y'all, I was out there sweating, but like when I went and went into my car in the AC, my face looked perfectly fine because I took a little powder with me, and it looked like I just, I just did my makeup. So, I'm gonna be going in with this and with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm not, I don't know if this is a primer. I'm not sure, but um, it's like a highlighter. And I'm in the shade 4.5 medium. And I'm also in the shade Tahoe if I didn't say because I don't remember. But yeah, so I'm gonna be mixing these basically um, together. Cause I like a little glow to the skin, even though I'd like set my face down, I still like a little glow, you know what I mean? And I just basically put this everywhere. I don't really have a certain spot to put it, so I just put it everywhere. And if you get this, this will last you a pretty long time because I don't do my makeup every single day. So I kind of see it lasting me a long time. And I'll probably do like two half pumps of this foundation on each side. One right here, one right here, and just blend it out. So tomorrow, we have a few things that we're gonna be doing tomorrow. We're gonna go to a birthday party. It's our nephew's birthday party. Um, and it's by the water, so we're supposed to be doing that. And then also we got invited to go bar hopping, but my boyfriend hasn't made up his mind quite yet if he wants to go, which I don't really care. I don't care if we go or not, you know what I mean? But we don't really get out much, so it will give me an opportunity to actually get dressed and go somewhere. <laughs> Yesterday when we went on that picnic, um, it was my first time getting dressed and actually going somewhere and like, Wrong for like two months maybe. I've just been working and it's so so busy, so that's why I haven't been uploading y'all, even though I said I was gonna be consistent and stuff. Which I mean it's not like I'm getting up or like not trying to post or anything. I've been waiting for my 
Boohoo items to get here, my Boohoo pieces that I ordered, and they finally did. And then when they did, I ended up getting a little sick, and I was not feeling good, and I did not want to record anything. So I was just like, woof. I literally felt like my chest was like hurting and all that, and I ended up going to get the coronavirus test. I did not have it came back negative. So I'm guessing I just have like a little cold or maybe allergies or something. Maybe even bronchitis y'all cause I had bronchitis before and that is kind of how it felt to be honest. So I'm feeling better and I've already uploaded two pictures and I posted a TikTok on my TikTok. So if y'all don't follow me on there, y'all should. And y'all should follow me on Instagram too. If you've been watching my videos and you haven't followed me on Instagram and TikTok, then I don't know what you're doing but you need to okay but yeah so i'm feeling a lot better and i'm actually waiting for um some pieces that i bought from misguided bought some pieces from misguided also bought two pairs of pants because y'all i bought some pants from boohoo she and all those places okay and tell me why i get my size and they don't fit me they don't fit me and I'm getting frustrated at this point. So I bought some pants from Misguided that I knew were going to fit me because I actually have some pants that I have in a size 12 in my closet right now and they fit me. They're a little snug, but I don't really want them to be like super snug to where I'm, if I'm eating out somewhere and I end up getting like a little bloated or something, like I don't want them to be like dug into my stomach when I'm sitting down, you know what I mean? Y'all know, y'all get me. Um, so I bought them in a size 14 and I'm pretty sure they're going to fit me. So I'm really excited for those to come in because I have a few tops that I want to wear with those and um, take pictures of in those. And I didn't say, but I'm actually using the Pat McGrath concealer in the shade LM14 and I used the Too Faced concealer in the shade Cookie. I use both. You don't have to. But I feel like when I do this, it just makes my face even more full coverage. I mean, I don't care for it being full coverage, but when you want to go out and you want to look good, you want it to be full coverage, okay? And I literally do not let that sit because both of those concealers mixed together, especially that Pat McGrath one, is full coverage. Gonna blend that out. Just like that. So y'all, since I've started working, <clears throat> so y'all, since I've started working, I haven't been really <sighs> consistent here on YouTube, obviously. Um, and I also have not been consistent on Instagram, but you know, I just told you why. Working, going to school and all that type of stuff. And not only that, but like trying to find time to juggle every single thing here at home, mom life and all that stuff. Um, it's kind of hard, like, I don't know, okay? But I'm hoping that I can start being way more consistent like I want and also going back to the gym because y'all I have not been to the gym in I don't even know two weeks maybe I have not been to the gym I was supposed to go back this Monday and I didn't and I feel my body kind of like adjusting to the fact that I've been staying at home and just sitting down doing nothing and literally when I was going to the gym I would wake up like at 8 o'clock you know what I mean and that was before I started working. Now that I'm working, I have to wake up at like 6, 6.30. But now that my son is going to school, I have to wake up even earlier. So I'm going to try to be waking up at least by 5.30. But that's going to be a challenge for me. So that's like another thing that I want to challenge myself to do is wake up a little early so that I'm able to get things done. Like if I have to edit or if I have to post pictures or something um, or any of that stuff, maybe even record, I can do that. Or... 
I don't know, work out, something, okay? Because I seriously, what is this? Um, want to just stay like very consistent with it. So I'm gonna be taking my Pat McGrath powder. This is the powder that I actually took with me yesterday and I'm probably gonna have to get a little more because y'all, it's a small little pack of powder, but it's really good and I really enjoy it. And I'm just gonna really set the under eyes. So I feel like my under eyes have quite a bit more wrinkles now that I haven't really been like, I mean, I know I'm getting some rest, but I feel tired now. So hopefully I'm able to get back in the gym and doing everything the way I was before because my boss has been having me working y'all, okay? Like I told her I wanted to like work a lot of hours. She can have me work. I'm gonna be bronzing my cheeks with that Fenty bronzer. And I really, really, really want to go to Sephora like so bad y'all and I wanna pick up some items, but I am trying to save some money, okay? I've been doing the, um, what is it, like an envelope, I, I don't know, I seen it on YouTube a few weeks ago, um, like an envelope saving, I've basically been putting like $100 in an envelope every single time I get paid, which I get paid like every week, so I've been doing that, and, girl, I'm saving, okay, but not only am I doing that, my boyfriend's also doing it with me, so basically $200 in envelope every week and then also saving in our on our saving account we have that but um I don't know it's just like a backup you hit me but like not only that like we're trying to go and um go somewhere as a family we're trying to travel okay we're trying to travel this year or at least before the new year or when the new year hits because the new year is like what six months away and I don't know I really do want to go out and like travel I'm gonna go in with my MAC bronzer and I'm gonna take this big Morphe brush by Morphe and it doesn't have a number because I've had this for years. But I basically just blend out that um, Fenty bronzer just because the Fenty bronzer is a little deeper in my opinion, just like a little, little bit. And I like that as like a basic contour, but it's like a very subtle depth in the cheeks. I don't know if y'all can tell or not. Do We Know Her by Patrick Ta. It's like a more of a peachier tone. And I'm gonna be using the powder side just because, I don't know y'all, like blush has really been my thing this year. And I just love the way that it complements your cheeks. Like it makes you look very put together. And depending on how you do your makeup, you're gonna, you, you'll look like more of like a grown woman. You know what I mean? Like very classy grown woman you're going out with your man to eat or whatever so now i'm going to be taking i have my stuff in this ziploc bag because i was carrying a purse yesterday and it was like a beige looking purse which i will show y'all later on and i'm going to be taking this mac cork lip liner Okay, so for that natural lip, but it's not really natural, um, we're gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Cheat Lip Liner in the shade Love Trap. I usually use Pillow Talk too, but Love Trap has been really it for me lately. And we're just gonna sharpen it. And I just go basically all over the lips with this one. And it's like almost my lip shade, just a little darker. So if you want to use this on its own, it'll probably look real cute, okay? So now I'm gonna go in, this has been like my favorite lip combo lately. I'm gonna go in with this Fenty Beauty Baby Fruit Gloss Balm. They came in a little pack. I don't know if Fenty still sells them in a four pack. I did have all four. Now I only have two. Three, I have three. I don't know where the brown one went, but it's super cute, very sheer. Still gives you a little color. Okay, so I just put on my jewelry and I wanna just tell y'all about it. And again, don't mind my three nails missing, 
but um mainly all my jewelry is from this place called lovisa jewelry and i found it at the mall to be honest i didn't even know that they had um gold plated jewelry because i have really been wanting to get some jewelry that is gonna last me and not tarnish so much and my um actual ears can only hold real jewelry and i mean i could wear fake jewelry but it's gonna start hurting me after a while but anyways i got these rings and i believe i got them for like 15 or 16 dollars from them they're all gold plated so hopefully they do last a while i have them only on this hand because yesterday when i took the picture i only had them on this hand and i just think they are so cute it's very inexpensive jewelry i know jewelry like this can go for about 25 to 30 dollars per ring by itself but to get all three in a pack for 15 is really good okay like what did i say i told y'all bougie on a budget okay i said classy on a budget okay so yeah um it comes with three this one happens to be my favorite this one is super cute the middle one very cute and then also this one super duper cute very chunky this one right here is and they do have more they had a, a large selection to be honest i was gonna get a whole bunch of stuff that i, I personally seen online um from another brand that was just a little more expensive but to be honest it's okay you can go in store if you want you can go online okay but i also got these cute little hoops here they're not even hoops like they clasp on i should have showed y'all when i was putting them on but it's okay um and I was out of these and some other ones. The other ones reminded me of the 90s. My mom used to literally put these earrings on me all the time. And I always thought they were like so ugly. But like 26-year-old me says they're cute. Okay. Um, and I don't know. They kind of just remind me of like very classic jewelry. You know, something that your grandma would probably wear. But like, like I said, stuff like this is really coming back in style. And I wanted something super small because I have, I just have not been gravitating towards my big hoops like I usually do. And so I got these right here and I wanted to get some silver because I've really been into silver jewelry too. But like gold is my thing, okay? Gold is my thing. And then I also got, oh, by the way, these were 13, maybe, I think they were 13, but like I said, they are gold plated. Now, um, I don't know if there's like a certain carrot whatever to gold or whatever when it's gold plated or if it just has like a certain amount but yeah these super cute very inexpensive and then i got this necklace and i think this necklace right here which is like a snake chain um was about 18 dollars probably super cute it's almost like a choker but um you can adjust it to where it's a little longer a little shorter and i paired it along with this Nixie Studios necklace. Um, here's the packaging for that. I keep it and I put it in here all the time just because I know it's really small. The necklace will tingle very easily, y'all. Okay, very easily. But it does have an M. My boyfriend bought this for me almost a year ago. I had to say like maybe eight months ago. Um, and it does have like a little old English styled M on there. Super cute. It's like a little locket. And if y'all don't know, all of our names start with M. Me, my son, and his dad all start with M. So um, I always wear this. Like literally every single time I bought some more, I always wear this. And it's very, very nice. I honestly think this was around $50. This is gold plate. Also, it will not tarnish y'all. But I'm not saying for y'all to go swimming in it, okay? Um, and I definitely recommend y'all check out Nixie Studios because to be honest, I want to buy so much more jewelry from them. And I also want to buy more jewelry from lovisa too but we'll see how this holds up so let's go ahead and jump into what we're gonna wear today because it's really cute okay so one second okay so here's the finished look i did post this look already on my instagram if you want to go and check it out then i'll have my instagram link down below because the pictures came out really really good i love the way that they turned out um these shorts are from a pretty little thing y'all i've had these shorts for over a year now um they build up pretty well i do like them i wish they had pockets but that's okay um they're just super plain i'm not really sure this is like an oatmeal shade maybe like oatmeal cream shade i did get the bodysuit from forever 21 it is this like 
ribbed material, though it doesn't go up and down, it goes this way. And it is very see-through, so I'm sorry if y'all see my actual nipples, but that's just how it is. Um, I do need to get some pasties. So yeah, this is very, very cute. I got this in a size medium, and I got these, I believe, in a size 12. Um, very comfortable outfit, especially when you're going on a picnic, lunch, or something, you know what I mean? Or you're just going out to eat, but like it's not like one of those really bougie, bougie places, okay? We're not going to Nobu. All right, we're going like something real chill, but like so nice, okay? Um, and then what I did was I actually paired it with these very old shoes that I got from Pretty Little Thing last year also. I was supposed to get these and go to Tulum, but we ended up canceling our trip, which was a bummer. Um, they're very cute. It's like a, what is it, like a woven material, I'm not sure, but they're very, very cute. And I do have to say they do get dirty easily. They do look, look like really dusty and like just busted to be honest. But for the price, I guess they're okay. And then what I did was I paired it with this bag that I got from Boohoo also, um, or that I got from Boohoo, not also. And the bag does come with another little like over the shoulder type of deal so you can just throw it over your shoulder for a more casual look but for a little bit of a put together look i took it off and it is silver which i like you know what i mean um i feel like a bag like this needs to come in silver if it was in gold it would look a little bit cheap to me so it's not filled with anything right now but it is very very cute i do like the way that it looks um I don't know it just reminds me of like a little dupe for a very expensive luxury bag so yeah this is basically what i wore yesterday plus the shoes but i can't show you because um, my feet are cropped out but yeah this is the look like i said go ahead and follow me on instagram and tiktok y'all will see this whole look and what i did and everything yesterday and yeah, so Obviously, in my Instagram picture, I did do my hair a little different. I should have did it like this. It's way more cuter, but it's okay. So, yeah. Okay, everybody, so that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe right down below. Only takes a second, okay? And I will see you guys on my next video. If you like videos like this, please let me know because it would really help me out with what I need to film for more content for my channel because there's only so much you can possibly do for a YouTube channel, especially when your niche is fashion and makeup, you know what I mean? So yeah, um, I will see you guys on my next video. I'm about to record my boohoo haul already after this one, so stay tuned for that video because it's going to be a really good one. I've already taken pictures in some of the pieces that I've gotten, um, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!